So in this video tutorial, I'm going to take you through the steps of how to add a document or upload a document to the Moodle area. So in this example, we're going to use the CLP area. However, uploading a document to Moodle is exactly the same wherever you do it in the Moodle. So keep this video tutorial, file it away for future document uploads. So here we go. We're going to click on Partners and Partnerships, then Community Learning Partnership. <clears throat> then we're going to turn Editing on. And then we're going to click on the breadcrumb trail. And then we're going to scroll down. And here, this is the one, Leslie, where you've still got to make a folder and then add the minutes into the folder. However, in this example, I'm going to show you how to upload a document. So, what you would do is, if you have a folder already there, you would click on the folder to put the document inside the folder. If you don't have a folder, then you need to make a folder and then put the documents inside it. So step one would be to make the folder, which you already know how to do. And step two would be to upload a document to that folder. So it's very simple. We're going to click on edit at the side of the folder where we would like to place the documents. So in this example, I'm putting, I'm going to pretend to put something in Minutes Stroud folder, but obviously this will change the folder name as and also the course as to wherever it is I've asked you to put these new documents. So what you would do is click on Edit, then Edit Settings, and scroll down a bit. <clears throat> and then you're going to click on this one, Add. And then because it's a new document, we're going to click on Upload a File then choose file and then I'm in this example I'm just going to upload one and then delete it because it's just really to show you how to do it so I'm going to choose a random document and I'm going to click on this one so you would locate wherever your document is that you want to put in if the documents are obviously via email attachment, you would have to save them to the um, to your area first of all um, on the S drive, Leslie. And then when they're in the Moodle, you can delete them from the S drive. We don't need to keep them once they're uploaded to Moodle. So let, in this example, let's put this one in. Click it and click open. We can see here that this document is now part way to being uploaded. Click on upload this file. And then we can see now, Leslie, that the file has jumped into the right folder. And then all you would do is press save and display but in my example I'm going to, get to cancel this transaction because I don't want to put this document really into this folder but that's how you would do it thank you